Hello, everyone, and good day to you. Welcome. I am Pastor Edmund, and I'm here as a vessel of blessing to you and to each and every single one of you who've been um, watching this show, this program. We thank the Lord for, yes, you are here, and we are here with you. The Lord has sent us um, to share with you a project, a business, and I know some of you have been waiting and praying for good health, uh, for income, for something about their family, and we're here to share. We're here to share today a business, a project, not just for an individual like you, but for your family, even for your country. And today we would like to uh, welcome you know, our dear brother, Brother Fred Duque, who is um, the president and CEO of Amrev Prelude. He is the, the glob authorized global distributor of the green energy. And also our dear sister Yoli Abaka. She is the founder of Actions for Hope, um, a nonprofit organization that is being used by the Lord to do medical missions in the Philippines. So welcome, brothers and sisters. So thank you. I would Thank like to, to see, you know, the Lord, we've been praying and we've been looking for businesses. And sometimes, somehow, uh, we thought of these good products or good companies, but in the end, they're not really um, trying to help us, but they're trying to get something out of us. And um, it's not that um, they're helping us, but they're actually destroying other people or the, fun the money that uh, our brothers and sisters have work for and long, long to increase that they may help their family. But I know and I've heard that uh, you have a project that is actually helping. It's something that's about helping the earth itself. And I know the Lord has given you this. So, um, Brother Fred, would you please um, tell us more about yourself and about this project that you have? Well, uh, my name is uh, Fred Duque. I'm the uh, president, uh, CEO of... Uh, a company uh, called uh, Amre Prelude 6375 LLC and uh, international distributor of uh, Joule Box uh, hybrid generator. This is uh, a renewable and clean energy wherein it works 24-7, 365 days a year. So compared to any other products, this is the first of a kind. Uh, we don't use fossil fuels like uh, uh, oil or coal or uh, even uh, nuclear energy. Uh, compared to other renewable energy, uh, this product works like differently in the sense that uh, it's green. Uh, there's, there's nothing harmful, harmful to the atmosphere. But let, let me tell you how the system works. And I'm marketing this uh, in the Philippines right now and also in Nigeria. And, and uh, hopefully in other countries like yours, who can benefit this. Uh, this is a, a cheap source of, of electricity, renewable at the same time, clean energy. So our system works uh, both ways. Uh, it's partly solar and, and manufactured wind. Uh, compared to other renewable uh, energy nowadays, basically your average uh, output is 20%. Ours is minimally 95 to 96 percent efficiency. And as I've said, it works 24-7, 365 days. And uh, the system works so well that even the maintenance cost is so low. Uh, basically, uh, the solar is just an input to the lithium battery. And the lithium battery starts uh, the AC generator, wherein uh, it creates manufactured wind. And this wind goes to a vortex system to turn on the turbines to create electricity. So you can imagine uh, this will help a lot of countries like Egypt, the Middle East, uh, African countries, both West and East uh, African nations, and other Middle East countries, even though solar power is, is right uh, in the Middle East because of, of the continuous uh, sunlight you have, mm -hmm. it really doesn't work because on, on, on this uh, setup, you have to clean the solar panels every now and then. So, so I have a question, really sure. quick. So you said that this is not just um, 
this is not just solar, right? Mm -hmm. So actually, it's like combined, a combined Correct. source of energy using the wind, uh, the solar, and, and of course, the power that's being generated. Correct, yes. So with this, how big is this? How, you know, and, and how much does this cost, basically, to put up, you know, and um, is this like the solar panels that is being used in the house? How is this being? Well, it's put different up? because every megawatt only requires 333 square meters in terms of, uh, of uh, housing the plant. We, we put the solar panels basically just an input to the lithium battery. Uh, so in essence, we're not using the solar panels like every now and then. And, and the, the batteries would last uh, through its charge and discharge uh, for 21 years. So you can imagine that, that I mean, it's, it's, it's a new technology made in the U.S., and there's nothing like that. Wow, so this is a brand new technology. Correct, correct. Do we have this already being marketed in, the, in other countries around the world? Would you tell us or give us some, some of these countries that's, uh, that they have it or they tried it already? Uh, we have this. Uh, uh, I'm not the one who marketed this. Mm -hmm. But uh, they have put this as better projects like in the Caribbean nations. Uh, now I'm starting in the Philippines, so I'm working like a 200 megawatt uh, deals in there and some other like smaller megawatt. Uh, as you know, our system is uh, scalable. Uh, we can start with three megawatts, up to 50 megawatts in a single plant. But it doesn't mean that, that we are curtailing ourselves into bigger projects like 100 megawatts as an example, we can put up a tandem, two plants, uh, for 50 megawatts each. So um, we're not selling the, the, the plant. Mm. We're not selling the project. But we would go for what you call a power purchase agreement. So I mean, I have a website, and uh, it's, it's here. You can take a look uh, if you want some further information uh, about it. Or you can call me. I have a phone number in there. Uh, U.S. phone number, and, and as I've said, I'm, ba I'm, I'm basically marketing this in the Philippines and Nigeria, so whoever is listening there right now in the Middle East, in, in Africa, I mean, you can avail this, this particular uh, uh, energy, which is cheap and continuous. Wow. I isn't this amazing? Even in, in other places, and we know even in the Bible, when there's dark places, it's hard to move. It's hard to do things. Even God gave us light. And actually, this project of yours is actually something that is good because I know there's a lot of places. E even in my, my country, the Philippines, I remember how power is. When we were there a long time ago that we have to use candles or, or lanterns just to study. And I thought by this time that that's already ended. At this, at this point of time, you know, but um, I realize there's a lot, there's still a lot of homes which doesn't have light. Even for us, you know, Christians, believers, all of us, sometimes that small, small thing that we need in life is light. And we wonder why the government can, can help us somehow, but you, you have something here uh, that's a project that can be of help to you. So, Going back to that, does this need to be purchased by an individual or a company? Or you said it's not going to be, um, it's not supposed, you're not selling it, but actually it's like leasing or renting the, the project or the, the machine. And um, by that, so can an individual lease it? Uh, no, I mean, as I've said, we have a minimum of three megawatts and uh, 50 megawatts. I'll answer, uh, I'll answer your question uh, about that, Pastor, but I, uh, we came from Nigeria like uh, in April, and I noticed that their power system is like 90% generators, mm -hmm. fuel by bunker uh, fuel, even in hotels, and 10% from, from the grid. So our system works both on grid and off grid. Uh, in, in answer to your question, uh, we're not selling it to individuals, but rather uh, we use what we call a power purchase agreement. Uh, as I said, the configuration must be minimum of, 
of three megawatts and then a maximum of 50 megawatts per plant. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't uh, curtail us to go more, mm -hmm. to, to go bigger, as I've said, scalable. Uh, one, one joule box is 60 kilowatt rated. So it can produce like 525,600 kilowatts per year. Uh, the way, I mean, uh, the way to compute that is 60 times 12, no, no, 60 times 24 times 365 will give you that number. But it can go 25% more power uh, because it's just rated at 60 kilowatt. It mm. doesn't mean that it's, it's you know, that's, that's the ceiling of that uh, capacity of that certain joule box. Wow, so this is something that's really amazing. That even, you said, we just alone, a box can actually power up how many Well, I mean, homes, uh, here in know? the U.S., uh, because uh, most of our electrical, uh, like refrigerator, televisions, and what have you, uh, one joule box can power up 40 homes. But in countries like the Philippines, it can power up at least three to four times that big. Wow, so three to four times. You're talking about something that's really, really... So people, I mean, in the Philippines, I mean, those who would put up like solar panels, solar fields, mm -hmm. I mean, they're having a buyer's remorse because, I mean, first of all, you require a lot of land. One megawatt is one hectare of space. Whereas ours is one megawatt is only 333 square meters. So you, you can just imagine the saving of land, especially in places where land is so expensive. So uh, we only require from I mean, we're selling it to like uh, utility companies or distribution companies or direct users like companies who require like a 24 seven operation. Mm, wow. And we're selling it uh, as, I mean, you have to buy the power from us. So we're not selling the units uh, itself. So it is the power or electricity that, that is being generated by the generator that you're right. going to sell. Correct. So Correct. basically it's like how the solar panels are because you know they save electricity through the cells and they actually sell it to the electric companies. Correct. So it's the Correct. same thing. Correct. Oh wow, this, this brothers and sisters. This is something that's optional to you. You don't if you're going to do business about the solars and you see you heard how big space that you really need in order to put up the solar panels or the towers even. So this has, they need small space only for this and they can power up even more homes. Also, what I heard from, from uh, our brother Fred right here is that this uh, doesn't cost as much as the solar panels and it long, it's long lasting. You said a box is actually 21, it's good for 21 years? Uh, the, the major component of, of this system is the lithium battery. Mm -hmm. We call it a uh, lithium battery pack. Uh, it would last 21 years. Oh. And magnetics within the turbine would last 100 years. Wow. So see, this is something, because I know solar panels, when it gets dirty, it doesn't produce as much energy that it can absorb. So what happens now is um, this is something that's better than solar. Correct. Now, I would like to ask, since I know, um, I would like to ask from you, what, how did you come up with this? Or what, what came into your being? Or what happened? How did you come up with doing this? And uh, would well, you tell us a story? The about company this? I've been working with uh, saw that I've been traveling back and forth to the Philippines to basically distribute uh, medical equipment, uh, medical supplies. Uh, from the U.S. to the Philippines. I actually brought like two containers of medical supplies, uh, consumables uh, medical supplies. And, and with this saw that I've been working in the Philippines, so they contacted me to market uh, this thing. And I saw the big opportunity in countries like the Philippines. Uh, if you notice, uh, most of the countries, I mean, I'm not talking even industrialized countries, uh, we're marketing here in the, in the U.S. right now for like uh, hospitals. Any entity that requires like a 24-7 operations, like uh, robotics. Mm. Uh, oh, I didn't mention to you that we don't have any power surge oh. in this, in this uh, wow. power system. 
So you can just imagine the savings. Basically, the charge is between 12 uh, to 25 cents per kilowatt hour, wow. US cents. Wow. So I don't know, in, in your countries, I know like Nigeria, I mean, they're charging like uh, higher prices. And, and it's not even, you know, working. So uh, you, you're talking about something that would create savings. Uh, for companies like uh, consumers, like uh, big uh, commercial institutions, I mean, this is like an additional uh, profit to your books wow. in terms of the savings that you will have of buying uh, expensive electricity. See, not only that you're going, if, if a nation or a country or a province or uh, a certain group of people who wants to, to put up their own power supply, they can use this. Another thing is, you're actually not just bringing the, po you know, the electricity or the power that they need, but you're actually giving them employment or work. Correct, correct. So actually, the whole thing will give the, whole, the families or, or the people not just the light, but a, a future for them too. And I believe, um, I heard from, from you that we actually have a, a partner already in this business, which is the Actions of Hope, which is uh, the founder is here with us. Sister Yoli Yolanda Abaca. Sister Yoli, can you tell us something about yourself and about the actions of Pope? What do you do and how, how are you able to partner and become a, a vessel of blessing? Oh, yes. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Amrab Prelude because um, part of the income of Amrab Prelude goes to uh, my nonprofit, and this is the Actions of Hope. Actions of Hope helps the poor seminarians give scholarships to them and uh, house them, help with them with their needs. At the same time, we also do medical missions, big surgeries like um, breast cancer surgeries, thyroid surgeries, big masses. We have been doing surgeries in the Philippines. We also do um, send a group of 25 students to livelihood programs. We teach them paintings which is them um, weldings for, for men and then for women, uh, sewing and uh, beauty culture. So this certainly helps them because we found out that um, a family, um, the mom would like to kill their chil her children and she wants to kill herself because they're not eating. I said, you don't have to do that. We will be able to help you with our livelihood projects. So we're giving them, giving them hope and um, this is, uh, I'm also so very thankful to Amrev Prelude for helping us. Um, it, aside from helping us, you know, with doing the green energy, it is helping nations for their economic growth. And not only that, the best thing is, well, in my uh, mind, this will be used for spreading of the gospel because of the green energy. Wow. That's amazing, sister. So it is just wonderful when the Lord uses us to be a vessel of blessing. They get, as a vessel, what, you know, each and every single one of us is a vessel. But what kind of vessel are you? You see, there's a vessel like the vase that you hold water or flour in, a, in it, you know, and then there's a vessel which is the fright, you know, the ship which, which carries uh, big loads of frights that they bring to countries, um, you know, loads of food or whatever they need. But this, to me, the most important vessel is about blood vessel. If you think about it, without the blood vessel, we, we're not here. We will die. And like that alone, even though you who are watching, you think that you have not helped, you're not, you're not a vessel of blessing. You are. Just by act actually recognizing that the Lord is in you and is going to help you and use you to be a best just to make a person smile. I tell you, to me, at least in a day, I'm able to make cheap people smile with me and share them the word of God. And today, as you heard, we have this company, Amrab Prelude, which is a hybrid generator to power up homes, provide jobs, not just for 
for individuals or communities, but even for the whole province, the whole nation, this can help. I believe that the Lord is using this company. I believe this is the right time in which we have something else that even using solar, um, the wind, even magnets, even they, they have the lithium battery that we know that is being used by car companies now, and, and it's even 24-7. There's no surge in electricity. I believe even in the Bible, the light was the first one that the Lord used or, or gave us in which it, we're able to see everything. Even just to read the Bible and share the smile of, to people, just that bright light. And you see the actions of hope. Sister Yoli is being used by the Lord to provide to, to nations or to, to Philippines or other countries that, that they need. I know there's a lot of missionaries that are doing this, sharing the word, the gospel. And I know most of you who are watching have been praying and has been lo longing for something. Or even you are advisors to, to someone who has power to purchase or to, to give uh, work to people. Share this company with them. And I know if it's the right one, it's not going to be hard for you because it's the Lord's going to work with you. You see, they don't even have to buy the project. They just have to talk to them and lease them without money down, without anything like that. You're going to have power if you're looking for light. If, you're, if, if surge is coming, like you want to watch something, even a good word of God, now we have something that we're willing to help and to be used by you. So be a vessel of blessing. You know, today we are here. Tomorrow we not be. But we know we're going to continue to do these things. It will be a legacy from the Lord. That is our mission, to be a vessel of blessing. Not just the word of the Lord, not just the Bible that we read, but take action. Be a fruit of what you read. Be a fruit of what the Lord has given you to be. And I thank you that you welcome us in your house. Now let me pray for you. Let us bow down. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. That our brothers and sisters who are watching, and for our brother Fred and sister Yoli, that they shared how they are a vessel of blessing to the people that they shared. And who will hear this? Lord, bless them mightily. Use them continually in order to honor you, to give you glory in all the works of their hands. Lord, and let the people, you want to hear this project, this blessing that can be used for their families, for their nation. Lord, use them. Lord, we thank you. I thank you for using me also as a vessel, Lord, to be in this place. Thank you, Lord, for Dr. Joseph, for the Way TV, for the Cross TV. Lord, it is only you who have the power to do all these things mightily. And Lord, with a good counsel, that you send to us. We thank you. Send to us, send to these people right now the prayers that they ask. I bless them, Lord God, for healing, for provision, Lord, and for whatever they ask of you, Lord God, their salvation. Right now, Lord God, be with them. In the mighty name of Jesus, this we pray. Amen. 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 So, once again, thank you and see you next time.